You know, they say it's always 5 o'clock somewhere, and after looking at my watch, 5 o'clock is right now. That's right, guys. Today, we're going to be looking at Bumper Hops by Departed Souls Brewery out of Jersey City, New Jersey. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any other of my videos. And also, if at the end of the video you like this review, give this video a like. It really helps out with the viewership. Um, and you guys may be wondering, how am I going to sit here and review a beer when I've been gluten-free recently? Well, the benefit of that is Departed Souls is 100% a gluten-free brewery. And they're local, which is very interesting. They're out of Jersey City, New Jersey, which for me is about 40 minutes north. And they also brew my favorite beer style. You guys know it. The IPAs. I know IPAs might not be for everyone, but they're definitely for me. So when I had to go gluten-free... I wasn't sitting here trying to drink Red Bridge. I wasn't sitting here trying to drink ciders all the time or hard seltzers. And that's not a knock to anyone who has those tastes or any of those, you know, types of alcoholic beverages because they all have their time and place, in my opinion. IPAs have grown on me over the years. And as a guy who originally was just a Bud Light Lime guy and hated IPAs, they have now become one of my most mish, missed um drinks when it comes down to just chilling out and relaxing. So we're going to check this one out because a gluten-free IPA sounds too good to be true and some gluten-free beers I've had just don't really hold up. Uh, another gluten-free IPA I've had that's kind of like the standard in this area is apparently Glutenberg and I might save that for another review but let's just say I wasn't a fan of it because it didn't taste like an IPA to me. So with this IPA it is brewed with millet, buckwheat, gluten-free oats, maize, which is corn, quinoa, malted rice, hops, water, and yeast. And when we talk about the hops, we're looking at Citra, El Dorado, and Amarillo, which to me makes me think this is going to be a nice tropical IPA, even though it does say it's a New England style IPA. But Citra always gives it that little bit of flavor that I'm looking forward to. Um, now, if we look at the mission statement, it does say that this is, well, let's start from the beginning. Departed Souls, not just a name, gluten-free beer, not a gimmick. Brewed in memory of our late best friend, Departed Souls brews award-winning gluten-free craft beer so everyone can experience the camaraderie around craft beer and the memories that ensue. Now, I really was drawn in by this art style because it has that really old-school, like, 90s graffiti art style. And being the local beer, I had to grab it. You got to support local businesses, guys. That's how I view it. And, um... Well, let's just get into it. Let's see if this can hold up to an IPA that you might be able to substitute for yourself. Now, offhand, it smells like an IPA. So that's the first plus. Because in comparison to Glutenberg, comparison to Glutenberg, that didn't smell like an IPA at all. Like, I wasn't fooled even by the smell. But we're going to save it. You know, we're going to see, compared to regular IPAs, what this bad boy tastes like. This hits the spot. This is the closest thing I've had to the IPA style I'm used to, which is either the Tropical IPAs or the New England IPAs because of the Citra hops and the Amarillo hops. Those are two types of hop I really look for in my IPAs. And IPAs are basically 100% flavored by the hops. That's kind of what makes them different uh, than other beers. Aside from sort of the other ingredients, what makes IPAs special to me is the hoppiness. Now, hops aren't necessarily for everyone. They are in most beers, but a lot of times you don't really notice them. And that's where IPAs kind of flip that, where the hops are 100% noticeable in a good IPA, in my opinion. Now, this isn't dry, like a double IPA or some other IPAs. And this isn't, it doesn't taste like watered down. I've had some IPAs that claim they're IPAs, but they really don't taste it. This has that pale ale feel, and it has all the goodness to it. It is 6% per can, uh, well, 6% alcohol by volume, and I am really, really happy for this. See, this is where Departed Souls is kind of winning me over, because... 
through the years, at least locally to this area, I understand out in California, they've had a lot of gluten-free breweries and varieties for a while. New Jersey, we really didn't have that. And to have a local brewery that actually is going 100% gluten-free, especially in the area they're coming from, for anyone who doesn't know, Jersey City is like right by New York City. So that's like prime uh, demographic in the sense of where they're probably going to do their most business if they ship to the city, if they ship to the clubs, if they ship to like Hoboken, stuff like that. So this IPA is an IPA that doesn't taste gluten-free at all. This tastes like an IPA, which is why I think it's worth a try to anyone who does like IPAs, because it's just really good. Uh, the art style is cool. If you were to tell me this was a gluten-free beer, I wouldn't have believed you, um, especially compared to other gluten-free beers I've had. This tastes the most authentic to an actual IPA, especially in New England style. So they've kind of hit all these different points on here, which I'm very, very proud of. I don't know why I'm proud of it. I guess I'm proud that I picked this one up and wasn't disappointed with my purchase, but I am proud of Departed Souls. I'm proud for a local brewery to kind of conquer this and kind of hit it straight out of the ballpark, guys. Check out Bumper Hops by Departed Souls. They're a Jersey City brewery, so I don't know how far they're going to go. They're a craft brewery, so they're probably only going to be local to New Jersey, New York, maybe the tri-state area, maybe Connecticut, maybe Pennsylvania, but don't quote me on that. Or you might be able to import this online with like Drizzly or something. Um, but check them out, guys. I really am satisfied with Departed Souls. I think they've done a great job creating this uh, New England style IPA that's 100% gluten free and 100% delicious, guys. If you've had anything by Departed Souls in the past, leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, thank you for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe. If you're watching this one, I put it up. Enjoy your 5 o'clock on a Friday afternoon. Or your 5 o'clock anywhere, on any afternoon, or mornings if you're on vacation. Or just, you know, live your life, guys. Be happy with who you are. Treat yourself sometimes. But just be safe and be responsible. I'll catch you later, guys. See you, bye.